In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of Photoshop's Content-Aware Scale Tool and how you might use it in a photo editing situation. This tool was first introduced in Photoshop CS4, but it's not often talked about. The Content-Aware Scale Tool will allow you to change the aspect ratio of images without distorting your subject. Let's take a look at how to use it. Real quick, stay tuned until the end of this video where we announce our new Lightroom presets. This tool is great for something like extending the background on a product shot like this where there isn't much detail in the background. We can start with the Marquee tool and make a selection of the part we want to extend. Then we'll go to Edit, Content or Scale. While holding Shift, we can extend it out simply like this. We can then do the same to the top. and the other side. We can clean up any hard edges with a soft clone stamp brush. This makes it super simple to extend the background with minimal headaches. Let's try a slightly more complex example. Let's say I want to start a new YouTube channel with Eric and Bean. We could only afford to pay Rachel for one photo, and this is the one we got. It's nice and all, but it's not going to work well for our channel artwork. Let's extend the photo to get more negative space so we can add some text. We'll start by selecting our subjects whom we want to keep from getting distorted. Since we have pretty good separation of our subjects from the background, let's select our Quick Selection tool and then click Select Subject. Photoshop does a nice job of selecting our subjects and we can refine the selection as needed. Next, let's click Select Save Selection. We'll name it and then click OK. Now we'll deselect our subjects and select our Crop tool. We'll hold Option and extend the sides of our canvas horizontally. Next, we'll go to Edit, Content-Aware Scale. We'll click where it says Protect and choose our selection. And now we can hold Shift and Option and extend the image out. Now, even though it's protecting our selection, if we stretch it too far, we can see Bean's mouth gets a little wonky. Let's bring it back a little. Here should be good. Now we can adjust our crop and add some text. Boom, channel art is done and we don't have to pay Rachel for any more photos. All right, we hope you found this to be helpful. If you want to see more Photoshop tutorials from us, be sure to let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll just go back to Lightroom where we belong. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And we'll see you every Monday. Good? Is that good? Why? What did we do wrong that time? Uh, <laughs> you're like that. Okay, okay. No. Should we do the very end again? Okay. Is that it? Bye. <laughs> I'm 100 and I'm getting it. Como la mo luxury. I'm when I drop in this. When I turn up, you know I'm on my.